scientist Jeanette Goulet checks on a group of baby fish in the Kootenai River, a river she hopes to keep safe from a deadly fish disease. And we have this beautiful water body and if we can do anything to prevent the spread of the parasite into this location, then we want to take that measure and give this beautiful river that protection. Goulet and her co-worker are part of a team dedicated to monitoring for whirling disease. The disease is caused by a parasite that can end up killing fish like trout and salmon. One telltale symptom is that infected fish swim in a whirling pattern. And these researchers have installed fish cages in places like the Kicking Horse and Kootenai Rivers to try and understand the way the organism travels. If the parasite is present here in the Kootenai River at a very low level, we will be able to detect it using this method. She says the concern with whirling disease is what it does to fish and the effect it could have on populations, recreation and tourism. You might see a blackened tail on a fish, you might see um, a spinal deformity, so a crooked tail or deformities in the head and jaw, as well as if the infection is really bad, they will have a whirling swimming behavior. It affects young fish the most. There's no cure, and once it's in a river system, it's nearly impossible to eradicate. The parasite can live through all kinds of adversities. That's why Parks Canada has closed Kootenai and Yoho National Parks to boating and fishing until at least next year. One of the things we can do as visitors to the park and as people that recreate on the water is we can um, clean, drain, dry all of our equipment and make sure that as we're moving around between water bodies, we're not contributing to the spread of the parasite. Back in 2016, whirling disease was found for the first time in Canada in Johnson Lake and Alberta. It showed up in BC for the first time last year in Yoho National Park and the Kicking Horse River. So far, the disease hasn't been found in the Kootenai River where the team is monitoring. But in places like Colorado and Montana, south of the border, it's nearly wiped out some of their trout. In the United States, there have been cases in some of their trout populations, particularly in their rainbow trout populations, where they've experienced up to 90% declines in their fish populations. Um, right now, we really need to understand what the distribution is and what the impact might be in places like Yoho and Kootenai National Parks. And that's also why, more than 220 kilometers away in the Elk Valley, these stewards are trying to ensure Fernie's multi-million dollar fishery isn't threatened by the disease. On a hot summer day, you see boat after boat after boat come down the river, and a lot of these are guided fishing trips. So guided fishing trips in the in Fernie bring in 2.7 million. And while whirling disease hasn't been found in the Elk River watershed yet, for Matt Vayev, it's a little too close to home. So it's really important for um, the local economy to continue having our fishery be open, to continue having healthy fish and fish populations, and uh, to make sure that we uh, keep the, this watershed whirling disease free. The tiny parasite poses a very large threat to fish in BC, but for now, these folks are hopeful, and the fish are swimming straight. Corey Bullock, CBC News, Cranbrook.